Hi, my name is Shear, and I'm the founder and CEO of ShearConsulting.com, where we focus on converting the existing data from your business into massive savings and extraordinary profits. Today, we're going to learn the basics of Excel. Let's get started. So now let's talk about how to add and delete rows and columns in Excel. If you want to create more space to work with in between certain cells that you're working with, instead of moving them around, you can simply go to the row, go underneath the row that you want to insert, right click on it, hit the insert option, and everything slides over one. You can then type away over here. We can do the same exact thing with columns. If you do a right click, and hit insert, it will always appear before where you did that. So same, same with this. With the row, it'll insert before that row. You can do this a little bit faster if you want to do multiple. Instead of doing one at a time, you can select a bunch at once, and it'll always insert that many, which is five now, to the left. So let's try that. Click insert, and we get five new columns. Another useful trick is to do Let's just delete these. Another useful trick is to do one at a time, but a little bit faster. Let's do right click, insert, and now we'll use the keyboard shortcut of F4, which repeats the last action. That actually works for a lot more than just inserting columns. It works for formatting as well. And we can keep hitting F4 to get as many as we need. Another cool trick, let's delete these, is to move some of these columns around. So if I right click on this column, and I copy it, or hit Control c with the keyboard, I can then right-click over here and insert the copied cells. So I have another column now with the same exact data. If I don't want to make a copy, and I hit Undo, I can simply select this, hit Cut, right-click and hit Cut, or hit Control x on the keyboard. I can then right-click over here and insert Cut cells, and it reordered the columns. In order to add and delete rows, you can do the same thing. You can simply click over here, right click, insert, and you get more. You can do the same copying and pasting the inserted cells like that, or you can cut and insert the cut cells. A really useful trick also with the keyboard is to select the entire column by hitting control space, and then using the keyboard shortcut control and shift, and then the plus sign, which inserts a new column. You can do the same thing using the keyboard, hit shift and then space to select the entire row, and you can do control, shift, plus. If you want to delete a row, you hit control and then the minus sign. If you want to delete a column, you must first select the column, control spacebar, and then hit the control and minus to delete that column. And that's how you add and delete rows and columns in Microsoft Excel.